We're given an improper integral and asked to determine whether the integral is divergent or convergent, and if it converges, we want to evaluate the integral. We take a look at the limits of integration on this integral. Notice how the upper limit of integration is positive infinity, and therefore the interval of integration is an infinite interval, which is why this is an improper integral. When we have an integral in this form, we'll replace infinity with the variable b and write this integral as the limit as b approaches infinity of the integral from a to b of f of x integrated with respect to x. If this limit exists, we say the integral is convergent and we can evaluate it. And if this limit does not exist, we say the integral is divergent. So going back to our example, we'll write this as the limit, again as b approaches infinity, of the integral of, let's write this as two times the quantity x plus three to the negative three halves power. Integrate it with respect to x from two to b. So notice how we move this up to the numerator, it changes the sign of the exponent. And now we'll find the antiderivative. We might be wondering if we're required to perform u substitution where the base would be x plus three. So let's go ahead and check. If we let u equal x plus three, notice that differential u would equal u prime times dx, which is just one times dx or dx. Whenever differential u equals differential x, u substitution is not required. So we can think of this as finding the antiderivative of two u to the negative three halves using our integration formula given here. So we'll have the limit as b approaches infinity of two times the quantity x plus three raised to the power of negative three halves plus one, that's negative one half, divided by negative one half. Let's go ahead and simplify this. Dividing by negative one half is equivalent to multiplying by negative two. So we'd have two times negative two, that'd be negative four. And let's go ahead and move the quantity x plus three back to the denominator so we have a positive exponent. So the end result is negative four divided by the quantity x plus three raised to the power of positive one half, which means we'll have the limit as b approaches infinity of, well, when x is b, we'd have negative four divided by the quantity b plus three raised to the positive one half power minus when x is two, we have negative four divided by the quantity two plus three to the one half power. Now we'll evaluate this limit. Notice as b approaches infinity, this fraction here approaches zero since the numerator is a constant and the denominator increases without bound. So if this approaches zero and this fraction is not affected by b, our limit is gonna be equal to, notice how this would be positive four divided by five to the one half or the square root of five. So because this limit exists, we say the integral converges and it's equal to four divided by five to the one half or if we want four divided by the square root of five. Let's also get our decimal approximation. Four divided by square root five is approximately 1.7889. And because this function is non-negative, this is also the area bounded by the function on the x-axis over this interval. I hope you found this helpful.